What up internet? My name is Chris and you're about to watch one of my math videos and I just want to let you know that if you want live tutoring or if you just need homework solutions or if you just want to watch all my free math videos, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy my video and take care. Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to simplify polynomials using long division. And a lot of teachers, I notice, like to skip this topic uh, just because that long division is not used very much for anything other than problems that tell you that you have to use long division. Um, so for all of you that have really mean teachers uh, that are making you learn this anyways, um, this video is for you. Uh, so let's get started with this example. Notice how I rewrote for you the problem in long division form already. Uh, notice how the numerator uh, goes on the inside and the denominator always goes on the outside. And notice also that I also wrote the terms on the inside in descending order. Uh, notice how we have the highest exponent first, our x to the fourth term. And then notice how we have a x to the third term second and also notice how there is, there is no x to the third term in our numerator. And that's why I put a zero in front of it, uh, because zero multiplied by anything um, always equals zero. And it's really important uh, that you put every single term inside the division problem, because it makes it a lot easier. So make sure you always remember uh, to do that. Um, then next we have our x squared term, our negative 33x squared. And then we have our x term, which is 0x. I put a 0 in front of it because there is no x term in our numerator. And then lastly, we have our positive 2 constant. Started with our example. Um, notice we have step number 1 is pick our number. And we have to pick a number that if you multiply it by this x, it's going to give us 4x to the fourth. Uh, so x multiplied by what number is going to give us 4x to the fourth. So if you notice that x, if you multiply x by 4x cubed, that is going to give us 4x to the fourth. So that's how you pick our number is you have to pick which number multiplied by x is going to give us 4x to the fourth. So that's moving on to step number two, is we have to distribute. So I'm going to distribute the 4x cubed with our x and with our positive 3. So 4x cubed multiplied by x is 4x to the fourth. And 4x cubed multiplied by positive 3 is positive 12x cubed. Moving on to step number three, we need to switch our signs. Um, so notice how we have a positive 4x to the 4th. We want to switch that to a negative 4x to the 4th. And notice how we have a positive 12x cubed. I want to switch that and rewrite it as a negative 12x cubed. Moving on to step number 4, we want to add and subtract our light terms. Our 4x to the 4th and negative 4x to the 4th cancel out. 0x cubed minus 12x cubed is negative 12x cubed. And we always bring down the next term, so I'm going to bring down my negative 33x squared. So moving on to our last step, which is repeat the same process all over again. So moving on to step number one, pick our number. Uh, so x multiplied by what is going to give us negative 12x cubed. So if you multiply x by negative 12x squared, that's going to give us negative 12x cubed. Moving on to step number two is distribute. So I'm going to distribute my negative 12x squared with x and our positive 3 negative 12x squared times x is negative 12x cubed. And negative 12x squared multiplied by positive 3 is negative 36x squared. 
Moving on to step number three, we want to switch signs. So we have a negative 12x cubed. I'm going to switch that to a positive 12x cubed. And we have a negative 36x squared. I'm going to switch that to a positive 36x squared. Step number four, add and subtract our like terms. Our 12x cubes cancel out. Negative 33x squared plus 36x squared is a positive 3x squared. And in long division, we always bring down our next term, which is 0x. So now we have to repeat the process all over again. So going back to step number one, we have to pick our number. So x multiplied by what is going to give us 3x squared. Uh, so x multiplied by 3x would give us 3x squared. So that's the number we need to pick is 3x. Moving on to step number two is distribute the 3x with the x plus 3. Three x times x is three x squared, and three x times positive three is positive nine x. Moving on to step number three, we need to switch our signs. So we have a positive three x squared. So we'll switch that to a negative three x squared and we have a positive 9x, so we'll switch that to a negative 9x. Step number four, add and subtract our like terms. Our 3x squared cancel out. 0x minus 9x equals negative 9x, and finally we want to bring down our next term which is positive 2. and repeat the process all over again. So step number one is pick our number. So x multiplied by what is going to give us negative 9x. Uh, so if you multiply x by negative 9, that will give you negative 9x. Step number two is distribute. So I'm going to distribute the negative 9. with our x plus 3. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. And negative 9 times positive 3 is negative 27. Step number 3 is to switch our signs. We have a negative 9x, so that will become a positive 9x. And a negative 27 will become a positive 27. Step number 4, add and subtract our like terms. Our 9x's cancel out. Our plus 2 and plus 27 give us a positive 29. So notice how our last term on top is a negative 9, which is a constant. Uh, whenever your last term is a constant, that means that you don't need to do any more work and you're almost arrived at your final answer. Um, so now we just need to rewrite our final answer um, in proper form. Um, so the way that you would do that is just rewrite what's on top, which is 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 3x minus 9. And you always write your remainder, which our remainder is 29. I'll highlight it. Our remainder is 29, and our divisor is x plus 3. So you always rewrite a fraction at the end with your remainder on top, 29, and your divisor on bottom, which is just x plus 3. Here is our final answer. Now we have uh, simplified the polynomial using long division. I hope this helped you understand long division a little bit better. Uh, if you need any extra help, I do do live tutoring, um, so please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com if you're interested in live tutoring. Um, also, if you like the way I teach, uh, please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and take care.